In this video, we'll see how to use efficiently the text parser module in your automations. First, we'll see how to use regex, that is a prerequisite to use this module. And then we will see how to use this module in real use cases with examples. But first, let's understand when to use the text parser module. The main case is when you have an unstructured data and you want to extract some specific automation that you want to use later in your automation. For example, if you have an email and you want to extract some specific contact information or for example when you have an invoice as a pdf and you convert it into text and you want to extract uh, some information like the prices uh, taxes the invoice number etc another example could be an html page so you extract the html code from a web page and you want to retrieve for example uh, some email that are on it some images etc we'll use this last example as a use case after seeing how regex works so you can understand better how to use this module in your automation now let's see how regex works so basically i prepared some uh, regex formulas that you can see here it's a bit tricky if you never use regex uh, in the past but for example to extract email address phone number and urls you can use these formulas the second one is only for uae because I've added here uh, plus 971, that is the indicative, the beginning of, of each phone number in the UAE. But if you want to generate regex formula for your own uh, cases, I recommend you to first learn the basics. Like for example, in this uh, website, uh, coderpad.io, you have a lot of information on regex. For example, this part of the formula uh, mean match either A or B. Uh, this zero or one, one or more, etc., etc. You have more information down here. A to Z to match any uppercase character from A to Z, etc., uh, etc. Et so if you understand this, you will have the basics. Then you have two options. Either you use uh, this regex generator. Personally, I don't use it. I prefer to use uh, the second option that is AI. So you just ask to ChatGPT, Claude, Mistral, etc. You ask them uh, to generate a regex formula to find XXX. And then with your knowledge and uh, the basics of regex, you can adjust it uh, for your needs. Because most of the time I've seen a lot of errors um, in the formulas that are generated by uh, AI. So you really need to learn the basics first or at least have uh, a page open like this so you can understand each element of the formula. I will put uh, in description the link of this website uh, to know the basics, this website if you want to generate it, and uh, this three formula so you can use them. Then let's go back uh, on make. Just before starting uh, the automation, I just wanted to uh, review fast all the text parser uh, modules. In my experience, you will most likely use only two of these modules for most of uh, the cases. Uh, you will use match pattern advanced and replace. I've never really used uh, any of these modules in the past, but we'll review them fastly. So the first one is get content from HTML table. This is when uh, you want to extract specific row or cells from an HTML table. Uh, you have a get element from uh, HTML. This is when you want to extract a specific tag from an HTML page. Then you have HTML to text. So this is basic. You convert HTML to text. Then you have match elements. So you might use this one. This is when you want to extract a specific type uh, of text in a structured data. For example, this could be uh, in a list, uh, in an array, uh, maybe in a table. I'm not sure uh, if you can extract from a table, but at least from a list or, or an array, this is when you want to use this one. So in opposite of match pattern, uh, normal and advanced, where you want to retrieve text uh, from unstructured data, here you can retrieve it from structured data then you have match pattern and match pattern advanced i always used match pattern advanced i don't really find a big difference with this one so i recommend you to use the advanced one and i will show you how to use it in a real automation uh, just now so what i've done here is uh i went on google maps and i just write barbershop i copied uh, this link uh, go back on make and use the HTTP uh, module with the get method and paste the URL here. 
so I can retrieve the HTML code of this page. So as you can see here in data, yes, we have all the HTML code of uh, the Google Map page. Then I used a text parser module. So we'll review each uh, element of this module so we can understand how to use it. So the first parameter is a global match. This is if uh, you want to return the first element that is matching your pattern or, and stop uh, just after, or if you want to return all the elements. So if you want to return all the elements, you should uh, check this. And if you don't want, uh, you can just check no, if you want only one element. For case sensitive, this is, for example, if in your pattern you specify that you're looking only for uppercase characters, you should uh, click yes. If you're not sure if it will be uppercase, lowercase, etc., you should uh, keep it at no. For these three um, parameters, you can keep it at no. If you're just looking for a specific pattern in a text, uh, just check uh, no. And you have the pattern and the text. So the text is basically here the data. As we've seen, this is the HTML uh, code of the page. And this is where you will enter your uh, regex pattern. Uh, so let's go back here. We'll select the URLs. Let's say we want to uh, grab the website link uh, of each barbershop. So we'll paste uh, this. Let's run this. And we should have, yeah, we have uh, some links, but as you can see, this is a lot of uh, Google links. So we'll create uh, a filter just after this. So we can uh, filter this type of links. So let me just copy uh, this. So let's say we want to add it to a database just after. So you set up a filter, uh, links, condition, so default back uh, match. Uh, does not contain we can select this one and click ok uh, what we have we have maps google we can do the same thing uh, fallback match does not contain this uh, we can add this also uh, fallback match ok and with this process, you will be able to filter all the Google links and add it to a database. But for example, let's say uh, we wanted to extract uh, email addresses. So let's click on OK. What you could do after this is uh, select send a Gmail and you could send a Gmail to all, uh, all the email of the barbershops. Uh, you could also extract uh, the phone numbers uh, here. Uh, let me delete this. And uh, in the pattern, you could click on OK and connect it uh, to Twilio, for example. Send a message and you can create a personalized message to send to uh, these barber shops. So you can do a lot of things with the text parser that is a really useful tool in your automation to transform unstructured data to data that you can use uh, efficiently in your automations. As I said, I will put in the description this link, the regex uh, generator link and the regex formulas if you're interested in. If you like this video, I've made another one on uh, how to scrap data from Google Maps using two text parser where we first scrap the link of the websites of I think it was dentist and then we scrap their email address on their website. Uh, so we use two text parser filters, etc. So you can watch it here. And thank you for watching.